Hello friends, this is Aditya and you are watching Electric Vehicles India. Friends, currently I am in the Aether showroom which is located in Nagol, Hyderabad. Aether recently conducted their Community Day event. In that, they have launched their Aether Stack 5.0 update to all Aether electric scooters. So in this video, we are going to go through this Aether Stack 5.0 update. Along with that, I am going to show you the newly launched Aether colors. So Aether has launched totally of four colors. So currently in front of us, there is red color. So along with this red, they have also launched green, black and gray. So by combining the previous two colors, now Aether is available in total of six colors. So now let's go through the Aether Stack 5.0 update. So the major part of this update includes the display. So now let us go through the display and let's see what are all the changes they have made in this display. Friends, this is the second color and the black color of this Aether 450X Gen 3 Aether Stack 5.0 updated version. So this is the white color, the older 450X electric scooter which did not receive the Aether Stack 5.0 update. So let's on this display now and let's see how display will be without Aether Stack 5.0 update. And after this, let's hop on to that scooter and that scooter has received the Aether Stack 5.0 update. Now let's see the difference between the Aether old version and Aether new version. So now let's on this electric scooter. So this is Aether Gen 3 without Aether Stack 5.0 update. Now I am switching on the scooter. So here you can see the animation of Aether 450X and the home screen looks like this. Here we get the speed, the estimated range, the modes and the odometer, trip meter, average speed, park assist and the options, settings menu and here we get the maps. So in the older version we get the clicks. So I mean if we click this we will get the options, if we click this the options will be changed, if we click exit the maps will get off. So like this the every option is the click made. So now let's hop on to the new version which has received the Aether Stack 5.0 update. So this is the scooter which has received the Aether Stack 5.0 update. So before switching on the display, let's look at the seat. So, so many Aether customers has complained about the seat, the cushion of the seat. So finally Aether has upgraded their seat. Now the length and width of the scooter is increased and the cushion is increased by 14%. So finally the Aether seat is now more comfortable. Now let's on the display of this Aether Stack 5.0 update received scooter. So I switched on the scooter. So as you can see the display had directly switched on. So there is no fancy animation in this Aether Stack 5.0 update. So as you can see the home screen will be like this. Now the scooter is in the off position. So as you can see the skill switch is off. Here you get the Aether maps. So they have updated the maps. You will get an experience like you get in your mobile phone. So they are calling this as the vector maps. So along with the vector maps, you will get the Bluetooth connection and here you can get the information like your estimated range, charge percentage and which mode you are riding in. And if you swipe through like this, here you will get the Bluetooth option. And if you swipe up, you will get the current ride, odometer and trip meter. So in the previous version, you used to get the click controls. Now you are getting the swipe controls. So this is the home screen. So let me on the electric scooter first. So now the scooter is on. If you swipe from the top, you will get this quick control. So on the left side, you will get the TPMS, Tire Pressure Monitoring System. So you have to pay additionally 5000 rupees to get this TPMS. So after installing that, the scooter will show how much the air pressure is in the, in the front tire as well as in the rear tire. So at the right side, you will get these quick controls from where you can adjust your brightness. You can switch and switch off your calls, indicator, indicator sounds, park assist, quick guide, home lamp and smart eco mode. So in the previous version, to control all this, you have to toggle to the settings menu and you have to switch off switch on so there will be kind of a mess in the previous version so now you will get a quick access from here you have to swipe from the top and you can control all these options so along with this you will get the updated theme of your dashboard so where the color changes as you change the mode so as you can see in the warp mode the color is too bright in the sports mode it's light in the ride mode you will get a blue color theme and in the smart eco mode you will get the green color theme so if you pair your electric scooter there will be another option here showing the the incoming calls the messages and the notifications which your phone receives so if we swipe from the left here we get a parking switch so in the previous version the parking switch used to be here now they have switched to this top place now if you swipe like this the reverse mode will on and if you swipe from right to left the reverse mode will off so these are all the functions they have updated in this Aether Stack 5.0 update. So along with this, they have updated the maps also. So in the maps, you can see the nearest charging stations, the saved places and the recent places. So as this particular scooter did not activate it yet, so the maps are uh, a bit uh, lag. 
So if the scooter is activated, the maps are seamless and you can get the real traffic conditions and the estimated time. So all these options you are going to get in this Aether Stack 5.0 update. So if you go to the settings, here we have profile where we can change our username and we have the settings like we can toggle between the dark mode and light mode. We can on the parking sounds, indicator sound, auto indicator and uh, guide me home and smart eco mode hill hold assist so currently this scooter did not receive the hill hold control update but in a while i am going to show you how this hill hold control will work so from here connectivity option you can on and off your bluetooth and you can pair this scooter with your mobile phone to receive the call notifications and here it will show if any notifications comes to your mobile so basically this is the thing you will get in the Aether Stack 5.0 update bay particularly to this display so basically we can say that this is a 7 inches tablet so along with this Aether Stack 5.0 software update they have also introduced the extended warranty so now if you are buying a Aether 450X Gen 3 electric scooter you will get 5 years or 50,000 kilometers warranty from now so the Aether Gen 1 and Gen 2 customers can pay additional 7,000 rupees to get this extended warranty so in this extended warranty if the battery performance is dropped by 70% your battery will be inspected and if necessary a new battery pack will be replaced to your old battery so the extended warranty works like this and talking about the Aether Stack 5.0 update all the Aether 450X Gen 3 owners has already received this Aether Stack 5.0 update and Gen 2 owners will receive this Aether Stack 5.0 update after January 25th. But the auto hold function is only capable with the Gen 3. The Gen 2 owners cannot enjoy this auto hold feature. And while coming to Gen 1, this Aether Stack 5.0 update is not capable in Gen 1 electric scooters. So the Gen 1 customers should swap their electric scooters with this Gen 3 electric scooters. So in order to do that, they have to pay 80,000 rupees if their electric scooters did not complete three years for this january so if their gen 1 electric scooter completes three years they have to pay 90,000 rupees so this is the basic amount for the introductory offer they have given the 10,000 rupees discount so if your ether gen 1 electric scooters completes three years by this january you have to pay 80,000 rupees if it did not complete three years you have to pay 70,000 rupees so by paying this amount you can exchange your gen 1 electric scooters with this gen 3 ether stack 5.0 updated electric scooters so while talking about the prices the on-road price of this Aether Gen 3 electric scooter here in Hyderabad is 1,66,000 rupees so the prices may increase after this Aether Stack 5.0 of this now the current price is 1,67,000 rupees so apart from this nothing has changed there is the same range of 105 kilometers if you go in the eco mode and 90 km per hour top speed friends now let's see how this auto hold function works in this Aether Stack 5.0 electric scooter so first we need to activate this auto hold function from this quick menu so I'm going to settings so here there is an option called auto hold which is already enabled in this electric scooter so now let's take a hill and let's climb it up and let's see how it stops in the middle and how it holds in the middle of the hill so currently I'm in a basement of this Aether showroom so now I'm going to climb this ramp and I'll stop in the middle and let's see how it manages to stop in the middle so guys as you can see I am in the middle of the ramp and I haven't pressed any brakes the scooter is in the auto hold mode. So actually what happens is when we are in the zero speed when we are climbing a hill it will automatically detect that we are climbing a hill and it will auto hold itself on this hill. And now if we slightly press the brake and if we accelerate the scooter again continues to climb the hill. So as you can see I have pressed the brake and I have given the accelerator. Now the scooter is slowly climbing the hill. And now I'll come back again. Let's see how it behaves in the slant. So here is the slant. The scooter got to zero speed and the auto hold is engaged. So again, if I press the brake, the auto hold will disengage. So as you saw just now, like this, the auto hold function will work in this Aether 450X electric scooter. So this is all about this Aether Stack 5.0 update. So what's your opinion on this Aether Stack 5.0? Let us know in the comment section. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button. And don't forget to subscribe Electric Vehicles India. Go green, go electric.